Good morning and welcome to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different because we are going to be cooking a recipe from the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. And the recipe I chose for today is for cauldron cakes. Now in the cookbook, they actually call it big fluffy pancakes. Harry is first introduced to the cauldron cakes at, when he is on the train with Ron in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone as they go to Hogwarts. So when I read that, I always thought they were like tasty cakes, hostess cakes, like a snack cake. But the way the book has it, it's actually more of a fluffy pancake. So I figured that would be really good for breakfast. For this recipe, you will need two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, one fourth teaspoon of salt, two large eggs at room temperature, two thirds cup of granulated sugar, the zest of one lemon, a stick of butter that will be melted, two and one half cup of whole milk mixed with the juice of the lemon. Now this needed to sit at room temperature to thicken, but the book also says that you can put it in the microwave for 30 seconds to a minute to also help it thicken. Then you will also need confectioner sugar to dust the top with and marmalade for serving. So right now I am microwaving my butter to help it melt. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to start mixing together my dry ingredients. So I'm gonna start with my two cups of flour. So now I'm going to add my two teaspoons of baking soda and two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder. So now we're doing the one fourth teaspoon of salt. Honestly, I probably shouldn't even be using to measure because it's probably shouldn't have just measured with my eyes on that one, but that's okay. And we're gonna whisk this together till combined. Next, it says to add the two thirds cups of sugar, two eggs, and the lemon zest together and whisk until light and fluffy. All right, two thirds cup of sugar, that lemon zest. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my hand to get it in, it's fine. It smells great. <laughs> And your two eggs. All right, so once it's light and fluffy, you're going to drizzle in the melted butter and whisk vigorously. I should probably be doing this with my dominant hand, but I think it'll be okay for two seconds. Let me get the rest of that butter in. And then And then you're going to whisk in your milk. It should be nice and thick by now. Oh yeah. That is definitely an interesting texture. So once you have whisked the milk in, you're going to add it back to your flour and baking soda, baking powder, salt mixture. Should 
Scrapey, scrapey. And then it says to whisk until it's just combined. It's okay if there's lumps in it. So here is my mixture all mixed together. As you can see, I still have quite a few lumps, but I can't find any more of the flour left over. So I stopped mixing. Next thing you're going to do is on medium high heat, you're gonna cook your pancakes on your skillet. It does spray say to spray with a non-stick -co um, cooking spray. Now my skillet is supposed to be non-stick. So I'm gonna try it without the spray first. If I need it, then I need it and I have it on hand. Uh, you're going to cook your pancakes until they are bubbling on one side, just as you normally would, and then you'll flip them and cook them for a little bit longer on the other side. So the book says to use a half a cup. This uh, ladle is about half a cup, so I'm going to do about a spoonful and put it on my heating skillet. Um, I might have to do this one at a time because they make pretty big pancakes. And I wasn't expecting that. So now we're just going to let it cook until I see bubbles forming. So this is what my pancake curling looks like. So I realized I um, my oven has a two coil on this burner and I only had the inner coil going, not the outer corner. So the outside didn't get as cooked, but the uh, top part kind of is so as you can see, it's not really the best and kind of crumbly. So that is my fault. I'll have to try again on the next pancake. So here you can see with the second pancake, you can see the bowls popping and that's what you're looking for for when you want to flip it. So as you can see here with the second pancake, there's a lot of uh, bubbles that were popping. So I am going to attempt, this guy is still really runny on the edges though, so I don't think I can flip it yet because it doesn't, the edges I think need to cook a little bit more so I can flip it smoother. Alright, so pancake number two, a little bit brown, a little bit burnt, I'm trying to figure this still out. Um, I think I'm going to try and use less batter and maybe turn my oven, my stovetop down a little bit as well. I don't think the medium high heat is working here. All right, so this I think is the fourth attempt. So I'm finding that it cooks the bottom, which is all those bubbles really quickly, which is good, but it's not cooking the edges. So when I try and go and lift it, as you can see, it kind of just, it's a floppy mess. So I'm trying, I want the sides to cook a little bit longer. Um, so that way it's not as much as a floppy mess, unless it's supposed to be, but the longer it cooks, then, you know, the more likely it is to get burnt, which you also don't want. But see how it's, like, just not cooking, but you can see it's already golden brown on the one side. So, see, it's already dark, so the top's already... So, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but something's going on and I'm doing something wrong. So I think I figured out um, how best to make these cauldron cakes for me and my stovetop. And that's low and slow. Now because they are supposed to be fluffy pancakes, that does mean you have to work with them a little bit different than the denser, thicker, like American style pancakes that we're used to. So what I just try and do is I try and get under the pancake really quick once it's ready and then flip it. It does bunch up a little bit together, but again, it's light and fluffy, so I think that's part of the reason why. So this looks like it's ready to flip, so I'm just gonna go under real quick, see how it kind of scoots together, that's okay, and then flip. Look at that beautiful golden brown. So I'm gonna let this cook, and then 
um, flip it over and the other side should be just as beautiful and golden brown. So this is the pancake that I just cooked. This is the stack of all the ones that I was trying to figure everything out on. And they just look, I mean, some of these don't look bad. They don't look bad. But I think this one so far has come out the best. All right, so I know it's supposed to have like powdered sugar and marmalade on top, but I'm just gonna eat it as is because I'm hungry at this point and I just wanna eat one. So here we go. Interestingly enough, you definitely get the lemon and that actually makes the pancake taste a lot better. I never thought to put lemon in a pancake it is so good. It just adds just a little bit of like kick to it, not in a spicy way, obviously, but just in a little bit of oomph, a little bit extra that just elevates the pancakes. They're definitely very light and fluffy. Um, and that is really good as well. I'm not used to that with pancakes, but these are really good. I would actually give these a four out of five magical stars, even though the cooking part is giving me some issues. The taste of them is so good, even without the powdered sugar and the marmalade. So I could only imagine what it would be like with the powdered sugar and the marmalade. It would probably be really, really good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, finish cooking these pancakes up and have some breakfast, and I'll see you all later for another recipe. Bye!